back to the cradle. It's 2024 and we are coming into this year with a bang. You guys might be wondering what's going on with my health, what is going on with my babies, what is going on with my channel, and what the heck is going on with all these scammers. I'm here to catch you guys up. Stay tuned. Let's get little Miss Sassy Pants dressed and I will explain everything. Okay. Okay, so I've decided to go into the year of 2024 with a bang. I decided to spend the holidays sick, y'all. <laughs> so sick, Lord have mercy. I have never been so sick in my whole entire life. I was sick literally for 21 days. You heard me, 21 miserable days all through the holidays. Every single one of them. <laughs> I do not know what the heck that was. I was tested for everything. RSV, COVID, flu, you name it. Uh, strep, like everything was negative. They couldn't figure out what it was. My husband had it. My son had it. My father-in-law had it. Uh, none of them had it hit them as hard as it hit me. I, I don't know what that was, but it was unbelievable. Don't know how I did not end up in the hospital. You guys, it was such a rough ride. But on top of that, as I started to recover into 2024, you all have seen that I got hit majorly by scammers. We're going to get into that. But first, I'm going to show you what I'm going to dress this beautiful little girl into. This was supposed to be her cute little New Year's outfit. Um, it looks very Christmassy, but she had some cute Christmas pajamas for Santa um, this cute little vintage Winnie the Pooh outfit is one of my favorite outfits for Little Miss Olivia. It has an embroidered Winnie the Pooh and Piglet on the dress and on this little knitted sweater. So super cute. I did give her some little tights or leggings underneath because it's been really cold here. And I gave her this beautiful little headband sent in by an auntie quite some time ago. Um, but I just think she's so cute with her little patent leather shoes also sent in by an auntie. Um, but we're going to get her all pretty in pink. So I have some, uh, knee highs, some beautiful little boots sent in by an auntie, this little pom-pom, uh, bear cap, like snow cap. It's so cute. Um, it has like this lambskin or wool inside, super warm and fun. And then I have this super soft little cardigan. It's by Modern Moments. Um, it is the softest thing I've ever felt. It reminds me of cashmere, like cashmere sweaters from like the 80s. So soft and nice. So we're gonna get her dressed and we're gonna talk about some things um, also, I have a little bit of Merry Mail at the end of this, and we're going to talk about that, what's going on with the Merry Mail box. So, first off with the scammers, super interesting. Usually every year I expect scammers to start stealing things from my account around the time of October through the end of December, right? Because they're usually trying to scam people out of dolls that they know that they're gonna be shopping for for the Christmas holiday. That's usually when it starts and that didn't happen surprisingly this year. But um, while I was sick, I do not work in the nursery when I'm sick. I don't want germs in my nursery, so I don't even come in here. I just close the door to my nurseries and stay out. So I haven't been working, I haven't been filming. I'm so sorry you guys have not had any videos, but you wouldn't have wanted to hear me like that anyway, I promise you. Um, so I did some work behind the scenes while I was sick. I could still like play around on my computer and get things done. And some of the things I've been working on is a new watermark for my logo and some new uh, computer apps and things that I can use to watermark my videos, watermark my photos. Um, because as you start to grow as an artist, especially in this Reborn community, we've had a serious problem with scammers over the last three years. And that's when I really started to grow has been over the last three years. So 
I was in desperate need for some upgraded like computer apps and stuff to help protect my business from that stuff. So you'll notice on this video in the lower right hand corner, I have my watermark logo. I have it in different shades like 50%, 25%, 75%, 100%. So I can use it as a logo. I can use it on photos or I can use it in my videos. I've had a lot of scammers stealing parts, bits and pieces of my videos from YouTube and using them on their websites. And of course, you know, the photo stealing has been rampant for years. I've been working on that. I've had a logo for a real long time and I was putting it on my photos for a while, but my app just wasn't convenient for the amount of photos that I needed to watermark. So usually when I finish my babies, it's usually like four babies at a time and I do all their photo shoots. And usually I take about 25 photos a piece. And so in one photo shoot sitting, I can take up to 100 photos total in a day that I need to post on various websites. Um, so it was really hard to spend a gazillion hours trying to watermark each of those photos. It was just so time consuming and I just didn't have that kind of time. So I needed to find a different app and um, be able to make my logo a little more transparent because it was also blocking parts of my dolls on the photos, which was also making it very time consuming. So now that I've been able to figure out how to get different transparencies with my logo um, and a different app that allows me to just upload hundreds of photos. I can do like 200 photos at a time and it will instantly add that watermark to those photos wherever I want them, which is fantastic. So I've got that solved. Also, as you all know, last year, year before, year before last, I don't know, it's been a couple years, I became an LLC, which means I'm a licensed and insured actual business because I started doing this full time. And um, I also needed to trademark my name and that takes a long time. It's a lot of money. It's through the government, takes a really long time. So I've been trying to trademark my name, which I was successful at and paid for. Um, I'm just waiting on my certificate and my license number. Um, it can take up to like seven or eight months for the government to process it. I'm supposed to have it in about five days. So um, I trademarked my name, which also includes various forms of my name. Um, and in the meantime, I also purchased, let me see if I can change her diaper. Oh, I'd love to change her diaper. I'm hoping this cute little pink diaper will fit her. Um, she has a little blue one on now that's a gingerbread one for Christmas. Um, <laughs> oh, lots going on here. Sorry, guys. So, uh, while I've been waiting for my name to be trademarked, it's kind of like how Coca-Cola and Pepsi have like their name trademarked. You can't copy their name. You can't use their name. That is the same with my business name. You can't use my business name as your business name. Other businesses can't steal my name. They can't even steal... various forms of my name if it even looks or sounds like my name i can get them for it's a basically like copyright infringement but it's trademark infringement you can't copyright a name you can only copyright i think objects like products but you can trademark your name which is the same thing there's such thing as trademark infringement i've also been in the process of purchasing all domain names that are related to my name. I, I own the domain for 10 years, as well as my business name for 10 years, um, for my website, kidstocradlesnursery.com. That is an owned domain by me, and nobody can use that as a website anywhere. Um, <clears throat> but I also purchased all the domains that are various forms of that name. So like with one of my scammers recently tried to use my name and said, go to kits to cradles with a c.com to purchase my dolls well all it did was took her uh people to my website 
Um, anybody who misspells my name, my my website name on the internet, it'll take you still directly to my web page because I own it. I trademarked my name. I also purchased all the domains under various forms of that name. So if you try to create, create like kids to cradles.com with a K, kids to cradles.com with a C, kids to cradles nursery.com, if you type in any of those, it's going to take you to my official website. <laughs> you can't purchase that name. I own the name kids to cradles nursery LLC. And any form of that, I own it. So, like, you can't copy it. So, this girl on TikTok, and I'm going to call her out because I have no sympathy for somebody who's a thief who's going to try to ride on the coattails of my hard-earned name and my reputation and try to make money off of your dolls when you're not even the real artist, number one. Number two, you've got fake, like, scammer dolls on there like from China, number two, I, I don't care. I don't care. If you're a dishonest person, I do not care. So this person used to be known as Brock Babies and their account has been banned multiple times due to various things like copyright infringement, scamming, all kinds of different insane things. I don't know who this Brock Baby is, but I recognize her face. Um, I've seen her on all across uh, Facebook multiple times. She's not new to me. I know she used to follow me. I recognize her face and I recognize her name. So she was known as Brock Babies. She was Brock Babies 21 on TikTok. And yeah, I'm calling someone out on my channel for the first time ever. Um, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. This person has like literally made my life miserable over the last few days. She's been actually stealing my name since October and I didn't know it, but I set up notifications and paid extra money through the government. They randomly do scans across the um, like different social media platforms and across various search engines. to check to see if anyone is using your name like on YouTube, um, if there's any kind of infringement going on on your business name and I paid extra for that. So um, she's been using my name I think since October of this past year of 2023 um, and trying to sell dolls under my name. She doesn't have my dolls. I don't, it didn't look like at first that she was any kind of an artist. It looked like she was just buying dolls for her collection and then selling them um, when she didn't want them anymore and claiming that she painted them but it does look like there's some alternative dolls that she might have painted and it looks like she has experimented with rooting hair so she's she's trying to become an artist and trying to make a name by writing on the coattails of my business name now Silver lining here, all of y'all, because you know that I try to be positive about all this stuff. Um, when people try to steal your photos, your videos, your work, your your name, your business, your reputation, all that stuff, it's actually a pretty good sign. That's what I've been trying to tell myself is like, you must be successful for people to want to steal your work, you know, or steal your business name. You must have a pretty good reputation in the community and you must be doing something right and you must be pretty successful when people start to steal things from you um, as far as that goes. Now, a lot of people say, you know, stealing is the highest form of flattery, but it's so disheartening when you work so hard to make a name for yourself and a reputation and then somebody tries to steal that from you. It's still disheartening. I don't care if people want the same dolls I have. I don't care if people want the same clothes that I have. I always give links. I always say the name of my dolls. I will make you a doll like mine. Like I've done that so many times. That's not my problem. But um, like claiming you're me and then you're a scammer and you've got fake dolls on your account and your work is not really the dolls that you're selling are not really high end. That makes a bad name for me. That makes me look bad if people think that's me. And especially if you're a scammer and you're doing things wrong. And I see some real janky stuff going on on her 
um, social media, like really like scammy stuff, like weird stuff going on. I don't want people to think that you are me and you are ruining my reputation and taking business away from me and you're making me look bad. That's my biggest problem. So um, I have filed many reports with TikTok over the weekend, but it was the weekend. I'm also waiting to get my trademark license number from the government because I didn't have them. I didn't pay to have them send me a certificate and I had to go back online and um, ask for that over the weekend and it's going to take five to seven days. So I need them to email me my certificate with my number because while I'm filing my claims with various forms of social media, um, they are asking for that number. So I need to, um, take care of that so that I can finish uh, filing other reports through them to try to get her banned. But in the meantime, I need your guys' help because it may take a little while to get this account taken down. So if you have a TikTok or if you don't, please go make a TikTok account and please go report this account. I'm going to put it on the screen here. So this is her TikTok account and she's going by Kits to Cradles with a C. She used to go by Brock Babies 21 as you can see at the bottom of the screen. That account has been banned several times and different versions of it. I believe Brock Babies has been banned and Brock Babies 21. If you go to the top of the screen where you see the right arrow, you click that and it'll take you to the bottom of the screen where you will see a flag that says report and you can report her page and content from there. Please help me out and go report this page until I can take care of some more things legally behind the scenes. I would appreciate it. Thanks, Cradle Crew, for all your help and keeping people from getting scammed. Now, I really do just want to say thank you, though, to the people uh, on Facebook who made me aware. I had somebody who notified me on my Reborns.com account that... Somebody else on Facebook was stealing my photos. Um, their name was Richard, but it was a girl. I don't know. They had many other artists' photos, and they were claiming to sell silicone dolls for thousands of dollars. Some were very high-end silicone dolls. One of them was my Maui doll with all of my photos. My actual photos were taken. and posted on there and they were claiming to have those dolls and they didn't and they were trying to sell them and scam people out of their money. This person on Facebook, um, that's what they love to do is to catch scammers and get rid of them. So basically the whole reborn community on Facebook like went after this person's page and attacked them and got them to take down all the photos of all, all the dolls on there, not just mine. So that one's kind of taken care of, but that person still has not deleted their account or um, gotten rid of their personal account. There's a lot of personal information on their account. for So for them to be this bold scammer and have like their whole life on this personal Facebook page with all of their personal information, that's crazy to me. <clears throat> that's crazy to me. I can't believe that this person would be so freaking bold. So that's an interesting situation, not as bad. And like I said, I've watermarked all of my future photos and videos so they can't be stolen. I've taken care of that situation. And I don't see anything else going on on Facebook when I do a search on there. So everything looks pretty clean and good on there for now. I'm going to give this cute baby this little wooden baby toy. I love this little wooden baby toy. So cute. It's going to look adorable with her little outfit. But for now, I'm going to um, grab some Merry Mail that I got. And we're going to talk about Merry Mail. But guys, please, like I said, please, please, please help me out. Do me a big favor, Cradle Crew, and go over to TikTok and report the other account. It's Kids to Cradles with a C. Please don't report my account until I can get that paperwork, um, get the number that I need to finish filing that part of my claim. I've got other reports against her, but um, trying to get it, I'm trying to get TikTok to ban the account so she'll stop using that name. But I want her to know why. I want her to know that it's trademark infringement. So I want to file the proper paperwork that way. And so she knows legally. 
I can come after her for that. So um, I do have a legal team if I need to available. I just don't want to spend that money if I don't have to. If I can try to get this uh, taken care of without legal people involved, that would be fantastic. I've already spent so much money trying to protect my business name. I really don't want to spend any more money. I'm talking thousands of dollars, guys. So let's get some merry mail and end this video with a bang. Um, also, if you're wondering what's going on in the store, I've been back to work this week. So I do have two vinyl babies that are coming up. Max and Baby Oakland, which is a new kit for me. and it's super cute i saw this baby on somebody else's instagram page um and i fell in love with this little kit and had to buy two of them i've made my first one because i just wanted to see what he looked like and i'm super excited to show him on an upcoming video this week that i'll have out for you guys also i'm finishing up two of the cutest little partial silicone baby girls that i've ever seen so i'll have two boys and two girls two vinyls and two silicones coming up this week so keep an eye out on my website my official website is www.kitstocradlesnursery.com with a k but if you misspell it it'll still take you there because i own it all you guys i own it so those domains are mine um so go check them out. Keep checking in if you don't see them. My dolls tend to sell really fast, but you know, it's after the holidays, so they might be up there for a while. You might get lucky. Um, I do have some Merry Mail. I went to the post office today and mailed off a very special baby coming into my personal collection that I've been so excited about. That baby is getting hair by Auntie Kari, and I can't wait for you to see that baby. It's gonna be such a fun surprise. But I also found this in my Mary Mel box. So you all know I've said that I was going to discontinue Mary Mel. My husband talked me out of it. <laughs> um, he feels like it's my lifeline to you all. Like that's my way of feeling the closest connection with you guys. Um, I feel so closely connected to you guys through the Mary Mel, the sweet cards, the sweet letters. I just feel so close to you guys. And all the sweet things that you guys have sent to that mailbox, it took off like I never thought it would. And so, um, yeah, it's gotten a little crazy. So uh, I went ahead and paid on that today. So Mary Mel is still open. My husband's like, do not do that. That is how your peeps feel close to you. So you need to keep that lifeline open between them. He talked me out of it. I just didn't want to pay for it. The price had gone up significantly on it, and I was so done paying that bill. Um, but he talked me out of it. He's like, we will pay for it. <laughs> Keep that line of communication open between you and your peeps. You're going to want it later. You're going to regret it. And the address is all over, like, everywhere. So he's like, if you decide to change your mind later, you're going to have regrets because you're going to have a totally different address up there. Um, and people are going to get confused and it's going to like cause chaos for your followers. So I was like, yeah, you're right. It's, it may be easy for me or an easier issue to solve for me, but it's going to cause chaos for everybody else. And I don't want your packages, all your sweet things. You know, you guys put money into that and a lot of love and I don't want them getting lost or sent back to you. So he was right. He was right. For once, my husband was right. No, he's right a lot. <laughs> he is right a lot. He has a different way of thinking about things, so I like asking him. So, so thank goodness I did pay on my bell box because there was mail in there from sweet Miss Andrea Lipinski. Thank you so much. She's from Illinois. She sent some sweet happy mail. There's a card inside. Peace on earth. <laughs> Peace for 2024 is what I need. Um, so we're going to end this with a sweet Merry Mail and end this crazy video on a happy note. Not to mention, how cute is Little Miss Olivia in pink? This is like, she's like my little snow bear. How adorable is she? So, a beautiful card. I love it. Thank you so much. May the peace and beauty of the holiday season be with you at Christmas and throughout the coming year. Merry Christmas, Misty. 
I'm sorry these are too late to use this Christmas. Maybe next year I'm enclosing a couple of other little things for you as well. I hope your holidays were amazing like you. Thank you. Take like lots of, oh, it says lots of, I thought it said take care. Lots of love, Andrea. Thank you so much. No, honey, I'm so glad it came late because this was a great day for me to find this. I've had um, a very rough couple of days. So this actually made me super, super happy to find this in my mailbox. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. It looks like there's some sweet clothes in here. Oh, it's the Mickey ones. Oh, these would have been so perfect for Yofi. You're right. It says, hello world. And it has little Mickey and friends. I love the Disney clothes from Walmart now. These ones are little preemie ones, but they look like they could be newborn size. These are so sweet. Thank you so, so much, sweet friend. Um, the Disney Baby Wishes and Dreams sets, I love these. I have um, different ones with Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, which I absolutely love. I don't have any of the ones with Mickey. And these are so cute. Absolutely adorable. Thank you so much. Oh, she sent some cute Christmas diapers. Look at these. I am almost out of these. So thank you. I did use um, my size ones and twos this year um, of the Grinch diapers. And I don't have any more. I was so sad. I only had like two left. So thank you. These look newborn size. These are adorable. And baby magic hair and body wash. Guys, this is my favorite soap and hair and body wash for my babies and the baby magic lotion i used these for my kids when they were little and these bring back so much nostalgia <laughs> for me the smell of this reminds me of my babies this is what my babies smelled like so i love this thank you so much i can use these for my um silicone babies so thank you so so much I'm definitely going to use that. Say thank you, Olivia, little miss, sweet, big, brown-eyed girl. You guys, I'm going to end this video. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did miss anything catching you guys up, it was a long one. I'll put it in the next video. I do have to show you my two newest twin girls and do a name reveal, but I'm also going to want to show you my two newest babies coming up for 2024. Max and Oakland are going to be the first babies of 2024. Oakland is first. And um, I'm so happy to share with you those babies. And they will be available by this weekend in my store. So stay tuned, guys. I will see you guys on the next video. You guys stay safe, stay positive, and stay happy. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.